peeps, yes peeps, travel gang. Welcome to a new video. We're at this place called Finca Soledad. It's about 45 minutes to an hour away from Shella, gets at an angle. You've got some amazing views of Volcan Santa Maria and the active volcano Santiago Guito, which you've seen in the other video at the Finca Patrocino. So if you've not seen that video, make sure you check it out. Like, comment, subscribe to this video. Today, we're going on a coffee tour. Check it out. Keep it locked. Unfortunately, we couldn't stay at these uh, like bungalow sort of rooms. We wanted to, but they're fully booked. But no way, Travel Gun will be back another time. But check this out. Here, yeah, boy. Fucking hell. Volcan Santo Aguito and Volcan Santa Maria. So we've camped at the top of that volcano before. Make sure you check out the video. One of uh, Guatemala's most active volcanoes. Don't know if you can see, but in the early 19th century, Volcan Santa Maria, it's a big eruption. And it literally blew off half the volcano. And you can see there's a fat dent, literally destruction. But on the bright side, a new volcano was formed. It's one of Central America's most active, violent and youngest volcanoes people. Yeah, check this place out. Crazy. Yeah. I want to be in that cotch there, in that balcony there. We'll come back again and do a new video to show you what it's like. Hopefully we can show you some active eruptions at night time definitely people definitely yeah we've got a got a coffee tour planned in about 20 minutes definitely got to get a selfie with the volcano <laughs> get me Entonces, por lo mismo no se pueden dejar las plantas acá dentro de lo que es el almacigo. Se lleva al cafetal y en el cafetal sigue el proceso de lo que es la planta para que crezca mayormente un metro a un metro y medio. Coffee beans. Prácticamente esta tiene miel, pero no va a ser igual que estripar una de estas, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Se ve diferente lo que es la cáscara. Esta está como manchada, se mira como podrida. Uh -huh. Es lo que hace la roya, ¿verdad? Quitar lo que es mayormente, así por así decirse, todo lo que es su sabor, ¿verdad? Y su textura. Uh -huh. Sí, se ve diferente. Mire, es diferente el color de la pepita. Y varía su peso, no sé si lo decía pulsión. Uh -huh. 
va a variar su peso de lo que es esta, esta es la que no sirve ahora. Se siente que no pesa. Ajá. Porque sí, sí. es lo que hace lo que es la broca, ¿verdad? Ataca lo que es el grano principalmente. Coffee jungle people. Coffee gang. Open. Close. Sí. Qué loco. Yeah, literally coffee fields. Sorry, I couldn't be informative or educational in this video. Tour guide speaking Spanish. But yeah, it's just nice to be here. Understand a few words, put translations. <sighs> Breathing in that fresh air, people. Quite hot up here. We've got 28 degrees. And the man's just talking about. Obviously, you saw at the start of the video how the coffee grows, weather conditions, different types of coffee, Arabica, Robusta, with the coffee drinkers. If you're a coffee drinker, let me know if you'd like to come here. I'm a coffee drinker. It's a black coffee for me. No sugar, no milk. Get me. Triple gang style. Oh my god, oh my fucking decks over there. Jeez. Back here now. Easy. Up oh my days. We must fell people. We down there with the bananas. Get me. <laughs> Almost fell, I swear. <laughs> so I do it for you people, always taking risks in a coffee plantation. Oh, look at that. Taking risks for you guys, my travel gang family. So fresh here, wish you guys could smell at home. Oh yeah. Bananas. Get your banana, banana, banana. Oh, look at that butterfly. Cool. Fucking hell, mate. It's a bit loose down here. Look at it. Lemon tree. Rubbing it. Oh, oh, fresh. Mm, definitely smells like lemon. Bang it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think it's clean people. No, que tienes. 
por así decirte, como se diferencia que tiene el café miel o no tiene café miel, es que usted agarra un puño y si se le queda prendido, es porque el café tiene miel, ¿verdad? Miel. Ajá, exacto. Entonces vienen los trabajadores, por así decirse, mañana y lo vienen a lavar, ¿verdad? ¿Por qué se le mira que es verde? Porque siempre se le mira en su color, ¿verdad? Fuera ya maduro sería amarillo, amarillo, amarillo. Y entonces, en una lavada, por así decirte, esta como ya es verde, no importa que se vea así, se vea amarillo, que se vean unos granos secos, ¿verdad? With the roast, the coffee people. Secadora 1. Secadora 2. It's another machine there. Crazy. Y este es un ventilador, y este refuga todo el café que suelta acá. Este es un termómetro que mayormente el primer día que lo vamos a echar solo Gracias. tiene que estar de 40 a 50 grados. El segundo día tiene que ya lo puede usted subir de lo que son de 50 hasta 75. Una señora me preguntaba cuántos costales se necesitan de pergamino para formar un quintal de oro. Aquí hay un quintal de oro, ¿verdad? Es en pergamino, pero es un quintal de oro. El pergamino ya no pesa, simplemente va de adorno, ¿verdad? Lo único que pesa es el café oro, ¿verdad? So no volcano view now, just finished the tour. I'm going to try and some of Guatemala's finest coffee. Let's uh, do a live test, shall we? Gracias. 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 Fucking hell, it's hot. How's it taste? It's all right. Sí, es más rico que uh, antes. It's a lot better than the other one I had in the morning for breakfast. Right, let's have one more sip. Ah, fucking hell, burn my throat. <laughs> yes, yes, people travel gang. That's the end of the video. Sorry it wasn't that informative. The guy was Spanish doing the tour. But maybe some of you Spanish speakers can understand what he was talking about. Because I only understood a little bit. But yeah, I guess you'll get the gist. It's just nice to be in a nice area like this. You get me? Yeah, hopefully we can come back and stay so I can give you a tour of the room. That'd be cool. Yes, yes, people, until the next one. Peace in the Middle East.